Well, hello there, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a fantastic God first day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm going to tell you something, and I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm excited. I'm excited about tonight. I'm excited about uh, the things that God has given me to talk to you about tonight. Now, the truth is, saints, as we deal with all of the things that are going on in the world today, the COVID-19 pandemic, the unrest that's in the streets, the things that are reported on the news, uh, the interactions between uh, members of our community and law enforcement. Uh, oh, my. All of the unrest. Uh, the, and I mentioned the COVID-19 and we're in the political season and so many things are going on. And some of those things aren't uh, uh, registering on your uh, scale at all. Some of you are you're dealing with uh, uh, trying to earn a living. Your jobs have been shut down in, in many cases. Some of you are wondering, now, Lord, how am I going to make it? Uh, this uh, provision may be running out or that provision may be running out. And the truth is, all of us get tired uh, at some point. But my friends, I want to tell you that the God of the, of the Bible is a God who revives, restores, renews. He makes whole. He adds light. He gives us joy, vigor, and vitality. He gives us the strength that we need to carry on in the name of the Lord. And I am going to talk to you about it tonight. Regardless to what you've been going through, regardless to how long it has been, I want to tell you that a blessing is on the way. The God of the Bible is doing great things. He's delivering. He's setting free. You know, I hear the prophet Isaiah now. He said this, the Lord's hand in Isaiah chapter number 59 is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither is his ear heavy that he cannot hear. He's still in the saving business. He's still in the healing business. The scripture goes on to say, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have caused him to hide his face from you. Let me tell you, America, it's time to turn to the God of the Bible as never before. There is no point in turning to godless solutions. There is no point to adopting doctrines and theories and disciplines that do not put God first. We've got to put God first and allow him to lead. And you know what he will do? He will enlighten your eyes. He will open doors. He will show you and show us the way out. Do you not know that God has the cure to COVID-19. God has the cure to all that ails us. Jesus is that bomb in Gilead. And tonight, I'm going to be talking to you from the word of God. You've got to come and share with us. Those of you who are back in the sanctuary, the Lord has released you and you feel comfortable enough to come out. You know, we've been back now over 14 weeks and we haven't had any problems whatsoever. We're practicing social distancing. We're, we're, we're remaining uh, vigilant. We're, we're remaining calm. We're remaining clean. We're doing our part. And you know what? The God of the Bible is doing the rest. So for those who uh, are released in your spirit and you feel free to and uh, released to come, we'll see you here. And for our faithful YouTube live audience and Facebook audience, live audience. Thank God for you. We're hearing from you from everywhere. And we appreciate your prayers. We appreciate your support. We appreciate the kind, kind words uh, that you've sent our way. Many of you have called the church. Many of you have reached out. Many of you have driven from as far as Macon, Georgia, uh, Richmond, Virginia, uh, different places are uh, all over. You've come to be a part of the service. Thank God for you. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for uh, sharing and loving this ministry and praying for Brother Wooden. I feel your prayers and I'm thankful for every one of them. I often say as I close, when you pray, 
Call my whole name, Patrick Lane Wooden Sr. Ask God to, to touch me and to keep me and to give me strength to stay on the wall because my friends were not coming down. So tonight, I'm excited, and I want you to be excited. And if you're getting a little weary and a little tired, just know everybody gets a little tired sometimes, but the Lord knows how to revive us all. So tonight, God's going to do it. He's going to bless us real good. And I want you to meet me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, whether in person, on Facebook Live, or YouTube Live, or however you will join us for, get this, Bible study. Yes, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless you.